Hello, welcome to another tutorial and our tutorial involves uh, computing uh, maximum discharge using specific energy. So our question read for a constant specific energy of 1.8 meter, calculate the maximum discharge that may occur in a rectangular channel 5 meter wide. Now let us sketch, when we sketch, this is what will end up. This is our rectangular channel. This is our B. B is equivalent to width, which is five meter. Then we have our depth, which we don't know. So I want to take you back to energy equations. We know that now this is, um, let me try to demonstrate. So we have two day terms. So we can take day term one here. Here is now, we can say maybe our original data. And now here we have a data too. Here is the bottom of our channel. So when we want to compute hydraulic grade line, hydraulic grade line, we normally take elevation Z plus the pressure head. Then if you want energy, total energy grade line or a total energy line, we take elevation plus pressure head plus velocity head. Now, in our equation here, when we talk about specific energy head, specific energy head, now we assume that our data is at the bottom of the channel. So if our data is the, the bottom of the channel, then Z will be equivalent to zero. So Z will be equivalent to zero. And our specific energy head will only be equivalent to pressure head plus velocity head. Why? Because now in that particular situation, we assume our data is at the bottom of the slope and Z is equivalent to zero. So from there, we'll come and say now, now we have been given energy E, 1.8 meter, breadth B, 5 meter. Now Q max is our question. How do we compute Q max? Now we know that a specific energy head will be equivalent to pressure head plus velocity head. Why? Because we say that when you talk about specific energy head, we consider energy of flow with data passing the bottom of the channel. So it means we consider that our data is passing here. When we talk about, sorry, it means our data is passing here. So our Z is equivalent to zero and Z is equals to zero. So this implies that uh, now the total energy, the total specific energy head will only be equivalent to the pressure head plus velocity head. So when you ask what is the specific energy, it's just energy of flow when the data is passing the bottom of the channel. Now we can say, now let's continue. We can continue by saying that now our energy, we said our specific energy head is given by pressure head plus velocity head. Now remember, we can move on and say, we can also write it as specific energy head is equal to pressure head plus now, instead of V squared over 2G, we know that from continuity equation, V is equivalent to Q over A. I can write Q over A, A all that Q over A, all that squared divided by 2G because it is a V squared over 2G. That is where we are ending up with uh, this equation here. So Q squared over 
a squared is the same as q over a all that square i just open bracket i have q squared on the numerator and a squared on the denominator that's why we end up with this now we also know for a rectangular channel we can compute unit discharge small q we know that unit discharge small q is given by discharge divided by the breadth or width of the channel so if now we change and express our energy in terms of unit discharge it will mean wherever we have q we put there where we have capital q we put there small letter q times b what do i mean like for q squared it will be q small q times b squared divided by now like our area here our area is our area squared is b squared b squared y squared so looking at this remember this will be small q squared times small b squared so this b squared will cancel this b squared and we'll end up with this particular equation here which says now our energy is equivalent to pressure head plus one over two g times small q squared over y squared but now we if we make y the subject this y here the subject and we differentiate with respect to y you will find that y is equivalent to 2 over 3 times energy head so which is a 2 over 3 times our energy head we were given as 1.8 which our y will be equivalent to 1.2 meter so maximum discharge is given by q max given by width of channel times the depth of water power 3 over 2 multiplied by square root of gravity which we can replace our b is 5 our y is 1.2 power 3 over 2 times square root of 9.81 so our maximum discharge will be 20.49 cubic meter per second thank you very much for uh, watching my channel kindly subscribe and turn on notifications so that when i add another video you'll be able to be notified goodbye see you then